Breaking news, Nigerians. The Imo State Governor, Hopu Zodima, is in trouble. As Peter B gives him quit notice, as his term states for governorship rally, Nigerians, hey, this one, eh? This one, he don't shut up Hopu Zodima. Hopu Zodima not fit okay again. Uh -huh. Even according to the report, they say he can't go hide himself. Because waiting is see, he might not feel token. They say that one what happened for presidential election self, they play, na child's play. What happened in Oweri? Eh? Not be waiting that they talk. Labor Party everywhere. The street oh, everywhere, oh, market oh, everywhere, Labor Party. They say Opus or the man. Because of shame, you can't run, go hide. Nigerians, I beg. This is really getting more interesting. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Peter will be the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party has issued quit notice to the incumbent governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodema. Speaking on Tuesday, Obi asked Uzodema to start preparing to evacuate the govern government's house ahead of November 11, 2023 governorship election in the state. Obi stated this to newsmen in Uwere while flagging off the Imo State governorship campaign of the Labour Party. Senator Atan Achuno, the Labour Party presidential candidate, was of the view that the coming of the Labour Party in the government of Imo State come November 11 will put to an end the end of misgovernance in Imo State. According to Obi's Aburi is the national chairman of our party. We don't have another chairman. Labour Party will win in Imo State. Atan Achuno is the only candidate of the party and he is the best in Imo State. I am happy nobody has changed the process. I believe in the process. Labour Party wants to change Nigeria. We are asking Nigeria for the opportunity give us a chance in Nigeria, there will be a change in Abia state today, okay? There is hope that is what is called governance. We want change. We want Nigeria to have leaders that will do what they preach. We know what it takes to change Nigeria. That is why we are here. We know what it takes to change Imo in Abia. Today, there is hope. That is what is called governance. This is because a first-class brain who knows what he is doing is the governor there. I believe in the process. I should not emerge through the right process. Vote for Labour Party and things will start happening. Earlier, the governor of Abia State, Alex O.T., said, Distinguished Senator Atan, is the only governorship candidate of the party. I was the chairman of the panel that conducted the primary election, which produced him as a winner of the election. I am here to bear testimony that he, he is our candidate for the November 11 governorship election in Imo State. We have not even started in Abia, but the noise is everywhere. We are less than 100 days in office in Abia. Labour Party is known for governance. Vote for the Labour Party. Adding his voice, the Imo governorship candidate of the Labour Party, Senator Atan, uh, said, Once we take our government house, we are going to conduct local government areas, locations, uh, election, fix the roads and the electricity, End insecurity and ensure that the civil servant and pensioners are promptly paid. We put everything right. Our people will be happy and feel the positive impact 
of good governance. There will be bloodshed in Imo State again from November 11. When I become governor, the people's houses won't be burnt again. Once I become governor, I will implement the autonomy of the local government areas. I will do local government election. I will not temper with the local government funds. I will ensure infrastructure development. I am known for human capital development. Emo people are suffering. The civil servants and pensioners are suffering. Once I become governor, they will be taken care of. Okay, he said. Well, this is what Nigerians are, are crying for. Nigerians are yearning for good governance. You understand? Nigerians want messiahs who can change the story because people are suffering. Not be say, then say, then talk up. You understand? If you live in Nigeria, even when you don't live in Nigeria, you have your, your family members who live in Nigeria. I believe they should be telling you what they are going through. You see, in Imo State, I don't know the issue in that Imo State. Uh, sometimes I do ask this question. Why is it that only in Imo State you have this unknown gunman issue? Imo State is the epicenter of unknown gunmen. We don't understand. All the killings is in Imo State. Burning of people's houses and all that. Uh, policemen, vehicles, people's homes, uh, killing of monarchs in Imo State. Why they have governor there? You understand? All these things have to stop. The same Imo State, the... The, the 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 mortuary called uh, no okay not the is it the the FMC yes in Imo State called the Imo Lights he says see we have more than five five hundred corpses here that 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 we don't even know who they are Nigerian police Nigerian army they drop them here come and identify your corpses before we do mass burial all those kind of events. Imo State is no go area. That is the truth. I believe the Imo lights will be looking for a governor who will eventually give them peace. Well, we are watching to see how things unfold in Nigeria. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.